How's it going guys? Uh, good morning. I have my uh, cup of coffee here. I haven't had coffee in a long time. I never realized how crucial it was to my mornings. Uh, fucking god tier drink right there. Speaking of god tier, I have a uh, Ubers match here against the Flaming Spade. Um, as you can see, he's bringing some interesting things. Uh, you know, Primate probably being there as a hard counter to Darkrai. Uh, I had never really used a Darkrai prior to the set of matches I took that included this one. Um, and I didn't really have too much luck with it, but we'll go ahead and play it back anyway. So, he probably led with Primate, expecting me to lead off with Darkrai. Um, I lead off with Blaziken, expecting that. Uh, I'm gonna protect to see what move he locks himself in on, because, you know, he's more than likely gonna be Choice Scarf just to take advantage of that. He locks himself in on U-Turn, I might as well stay in, it really doesn't matter to me. Um, I don't want to go for the high jump kick, because I know he has Shedinja, and I know, uh... Arceus is not going to come in for any reason whatsoever. So Shedinja comes in, you know, probably to take the high jump kick. I do go for my other stab. Uh, fun fact, I don't take recoil. I don't take Flare Blitz recoil from this because it rounds down to zero on this turn. So probably one of the only times you're ever going to see that. But he goes for the Shadow Snake, you know, does a pretty good amount. Uh, I think I might get one recoil from this one. Uh, his reason for bringing Shedinja in, uh, you know, just to get some priority on me. So his next bit of priority can take me out because he does have the... Uh, the normal form Arceus with the life orb in the extreme speed, uh, definitely going to be an overwhelming amount of damage from that point. Um, I didn't really want to risk him setting up on the predicted switch because extreme speed was really obvious, but he just, you know, he just goes with the obvious play anyways. Um, I'm not really losing out on too much, so it's okay. Anyways, I come in with Darkrai, and uh, I do expect Primeape to come in because that is the only reason you bring Primeape. So I do go for the Focus Blast just in case he does want to stay in with Arceus. Uh, at the very least, get some super effective damage as opposed to, you know, stab damage and then resisted damage on the switch. Focus Blast does a lot, but does not take it out. I'm going to be forced to switch out here. I really wish that would have killed because uh, that might give him switch initiative depending on what he goes for. But I'm going to go into my Arceus here. And uh, since he's Scarfed, he's locked in on close combat on my Ghost Arceus. And that is sexy. So... I'm gonna go for the Swords Dance on the Switch. Uh, in comes a uh, Fortress. I can't really do shit against it, to be honest, which kinda sucks. So I might as well boost up some more. Um, if he does have the payback, it'll hurt, but not really too much since I didn't attack him. Turns out he has a uh, Gyro Ball. He doesn't have payback. Hurts a bit, but uh, not really too much. So not really too immediately concerned with it. Plus four Earthquake does a good chunk in fact you know that's a crit brings him down to the sturdy crit didn't matter because in fact he does have sturdy at plus four i really want to say that was going to be a two hit KO anyway so he goes for the gyro ball uh brings me down pretty low to the point where his uh his rcs can probably take me out with an unboosted shadow claw which is really what i didn't want but um i did't really have much of a choice you know i blaziken was probably my main thing for fortress but now that i don't have anything forward it kind of sucks so um Anyway, I'm at plus four. Uh, I don't have anything to hit it with other than uh, extreme speed. I'm really thinking about swapping out Earthquake for Brick Break. Uh, I know it's less power, but in situations like these, it probably would have killed since extreme speed is not stab. Uh, Brick Break would have had the extra 40 base power, and at the very least, he probably would have died to life or recoil at that point. Anyways, I go into Deoxys knowing he doesn't have any hazards. I do have my Sash up, so I might as well start setting them up. Uh, I'm going to get the rocks set up at the very least, so that way... Um, you know, I can get neutral damage on anything, including any levitators that he might have at this point. I'm not remembering at the moment, but I'm going to go for the taunt, predicting the calm mind. He actually goes for the aura sphere, predicting my dark ride to come in. It's a resisted hit. I take it pretty damn good. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and set up a layer of spikes as well, just to ensure that Arceus dies when it comes in. I don't know if and when it will be coming in, but I kind of value that a little bit more at this point. So, I'm going to set up my second layer of spikes, you know, just to get some good damage on whatever does, you know, come in. Um, I'm not sure if Stealth Rocks and one layer of spikes would have killed off Arceus, but Stealth Rocks and two layers at red health, definitely gone. Uh, I didn't really have much that could have taken out Mewtwo anyway. And looking at it right now, with the instant that Deoxys died, I was like, holy shit, the only thing I have to have to take on this Mewtwo is my own Mewtwo. So, it's really going to come down to, you know, who wins uh, crucial speed ties and such. So, we get in a Calm Mind War because uh, we're, we're both aware that we're running Psy Strike. So, we can boost our special attack and our special defense, but our defense still remains untouched. So, Psy Strike will still be doing a really good amount to each other. So, that's what we go for. Um, he's going to win the first one as I go for mine, but he's running lefties. I'm running Life Orb. 
It's going to do a little bit more, but thanks to my own life orb, it's probably going to bring me down to the exact same range anyway. So in scenarios like these, uh, him having the leftovers is probably a little bit smarter. But he wins this one. Now this, this is big. This is big because this is where everything starts to go downhill for me. First off, this Mewtwo is still alive. I'm not able to revenge it with my... Uh, Rayquaza, even if it lived with a nub, um, it would have brought me into the range where an extreme speed definitely would have taken it out. But as a result, I have to go for the extreme speed now. If I don't get a crit, he's going to hit me with a Psy Strike or an Ice Beam, and I don't really appreciate either one. Brings him down to the tiniest fucking nub. And thinking about it, if I had attacked with Deoxys, I don't know why I have extreme speed on it, but if I had attacked with Deoxys, then I probably would have taken it down. Uh, even, it would have died at that point. I wouldn't have had to take the uh, Psy Strike right now. As a result, uh, I'm gonna die to life or recoil here, but looking at it, you know, let's look at this chain of events. Um, if I hadn't died here, he's gonna bring in his Deoxys. Now, Deoxys is paper thin. I have max attack on my Rayquaza. I have no doubt that an extreme speed definitely would have taken him out, especially from that range of health with the uh, Stealth Rocks and the two spikes. But instead, I believe Dark Rise, my last one, is gonna take me out with a superpower. Um, his Arceus would have died upon coming in. So, had I won that speed tie, or had I gone for the extreme speed with Deoxys just to get some damage in, um, that probably would have been my game, but instead, you know, banking on a 50-50 chance, the momentum just drastically shifted in his favor. And that gives him the uh, the narrow 2-0. Still a fun match overall, so if you guys enjoyed it, make sure you click like, comment, subscribe, do your thing. Kind of a peppy narration for me now that I think about it, but uh, it was fun. So, um, hope you guys enjoyed. This is Thursday's upload, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace.